In this video, we will be demonstrating phlebotomy techniques and venipuncture using Project Medi's simulation training arm. Please reference our other videos which demonstrate the setup of the IV tubing and arm to prepare it for the venipuncture. We can start by sanitizing our hands and then donning gloves before we proceed with any blood draw. With the model assembled and the IV tubing ready to go, we can ensure that we have our syringe ready with the straight needle attached, alcohol swabs, tourniquet, gauze, and the IV tubing ready to go. Set up the training arm with the palm facing up. Veins in the antecubital fossa are often ideal for vena puncture, and we do tend to start here. Next, we're gonna tie our tourniquet two to three inches above the vena puncture site. When you're tying a tourniquet, you wanna make sure of a few things. Quick release is the most important, so you wanna do the bottom loop through so you can pull as a quick release once you're done collecting the specimen. After you've applied the tourniquet, you can begin to palpate the arm and feel for veins. Take note that this vein is more on an angle in the antecubital area, so you're going to follow along the angle when inserting the needle. Next, we're going to clean the arm using an alcohol swab to disinfect in an up and down and side to side motion for at least 30 seconds to ensure the skin is disinfected. Next, you want to allow the skin to completely dry before inserting the needle. When you open the needle, you want to ensure that the bevel is up, which allows for an easier insertion and less trauma to the vein. With your non-dominant hand, you're going to pull back on the vein and use traction. With your dominant hand at a 30 degree angle, veins are very shallow, so you really don't want to go in that deep. And you want to enter again at around a 30 degree angle with the bevel up into the vein. When you have the tubes in, you're gonna see a flash, so you wanna hold with your non-dominant hand to keep the syringe and needle in place. Then you wanna gently pull back on the plunger, filling the syringe with the blood to collect your specimen. Once you have your specimens collected, and some may require various blood uh, tubes, you can go ahead and release your tourniquet, take your gauze, apply it to the venipuncture site, and carefully remove the needle. Cap or safely close your, your needle so you prevent any needle sticks and safely dispose of the needle. Then you will want to label the specimen with the patient's name, date of birth, and time, and follow your organization's policies on where you'd be sending this or what would need to be done. You can apply some tape to the gauze, the bleeding should stop, within about 20 to 30 seconds, and the patient uh, can also hold that there. Ensure that they're comfortable prior to leaving and handling your specimens, again, appropriately and according to your organization's policies. And that's it for the Project Medis Venipuncture.